down through the back of your legs and into your heels. Right? So this is what you should do. Right? Press down. And some people do this. And they scoop back. And that's the most dangerous thing ever. Okay? Good boy. Okay, so now don't do that. Keep running. Okay, good. All right. So, all right. So then the next exercise we do, and this is where it's And the point is we do all of this at a walk, okay. right? Okay, good. So, so here's what we've done so far. The toe exercises, down and up, circles out, circles in. It's okay, good. All right, legs forward, balance. Find your butt, right? Find those two points that you sit on, right? And then legs back. And then here's the other thing people do wrong with this. This is really interesting. A lot of people have to lift their thigh to get their leg to move back. It's an isolation. Your leg does not go up. Your lower legs go back and that's it. So if you have to lift to get your lower leg to move, it's something you can practice sitting in a chair, right? Because you want that control over your lower legs to tell your horse what to do without again, having to move your body because maybe your body's not involved in this action. Maybe you just need a foot here. Good boy. He got it even got, he, he went that, yep, yeah, good boy. Okay, good job. All right. Okay, the last stretch that I do with the legs basically, besides just the, what I call my relaxation stretch of like just, you know, mm -hmm. and again, getting, getting this to just relax because everything has your joints, boy. Your joints have to be relaxed. If your joints are stiff, you're going to bounce. You know, it's bad enough if you have a bouncy trot to begin with, but the only way to sit it really is going to be, you know, to shock absorb is your joints have to be loose. Okay. So, um, it's the jockey stretch. Now, <clears throat> this is interesting because what you want to think about is I'm going to point my finger down and I want to be able, my finger to hit the back of my heel. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Look at the line. Shoulder, hip, heel. 
Okay? Now really, that's balanced writing. You'll find people do this a lot. Okay? All right, so this means now I'm square on my pelvis, not back on my ass. Don't, don't get me wrong. There's a time for this. <laughs> okay? Right? Okay? So jockey stretch is go straight up. Now here's what most people do. No. There's some muscles in here you didn't, you didn't know you had. <laughs> okay? So it's straight up and the heel has to stay in the line. Okay? All right, again, total control over your legs. This is just breaking it down into little exercises, really what's doing. Good, so then I move on to the arm, up to the upper body, and the first thing I do is I have them, you know, make sure they're sitting up nice and tall, and then I have them do this, All right? Nice and tall, spine stretches, good. The key to this one is don't allow this to happen. No, we're moving our arms and our, we're turning our shoulders and getting our shoulders to move, right? But we're not going to um, move our legs, right? Again, we're gonna, we're gonna go, I've got control over my upper body. Like moving your horse's foot one foot at a time. No, I don't want all of them, I want that one, okay. right? Here, here, to here, good. Then after that, we do here, okay, and buckles. Go up a little wide. He's fine with all of them. Yeah. Good, boy. good. And then another one that I'll do is I'll put I'll put people's hands here and then turn your shoulders. Okay. Have you ever seen the figure eight video with Linda where where she talks mm -hmm. with the guy about like people miss this and this can make your horse just really do that nice turn. It's amazing. So I know we go eyes, belly button, but it's like eyes, shoulders, belly button, you know? So people are going eyes, belly button, and it's really eyes, ah. shoulders, belly button. Well, same with the groundwork. Right. The shoulders, you'll see if she says belly button that people will go. Like, right. They'll go like this. Right. And it's like, no. Right, exactly. Okay, so that's Good. helping me. Right, same thing. Yeah. Good. And that's pretty much it for the beginning exercises. Awesome. They're not difficult, except that if, you, if you're not conscious about it, you wind up not isolating. You wind up, when you do this, you let your legs move everywhere, or you lose your balance. And, you know, so you're thinking about, you're not shifting this from side to side. You're keeping this balanced, right? Now, I went, so an ultimate goal for all of this is that if your body should get off balance anywhere on your horse, when you've done all these, you know how to put it back in position. Really? Right. Yay. Because you've learned to put your body everywhere and put it back. It's a very hidden agenda as far as that goes, nice. right? Okay. And then the last one that I like to do, with, you know, with my kids, I'll actually put their hands here and have them just drill the I like like the back to here. And we're going to do that with you too, okay. so that you don't even have the reins, but you can like, okay, to here, to here, to here, to here. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, obviously, the kids, I don't bother with the legs at first. I get them to get this part. Then we add on. You know, okay, now. Now we're going to teach you about turning the horse with your legs. What a good boy. What a good boy. All right, man, I'm going to slide down off of you.